Imagine if you are a superhero in the Marvel New Warriors superhero group and you are in Stanford, Connecticut chasing down the supervillain Nitro. But in the process of doing so, he ends up blowing himself up, which is close by to an elementary school consisting of 600 people. And he ends up with 60 casualties, mostly being kids. Well, that's a big problem. That is the Marvel Universe's Civil War rendition. But unfortunately, Marvel Studios haven't created enough characters in movies to make that plot work. So that's where the Marvel Studio brains merged in with the Hollywood directors decided to come up with this awesome plot. But before we get into that, you must choose sides. Needless to say, I've chosen my side. Now let's get to the Hollywood rendition. As always, spoiler alert, don't watch further if you haven't seen the movie. So back in 1991, before the um, Ultron movie, Hydra, which is the main bad guys, the uh, opponents of AIM, decides to brainwash Bucky Barnes, who's a Winter Soldier, for him to steal the Super Soldier Serum. And he ends up... Um, Killing some important characters, let me just say that. One year later, which is the present time, the Avengers try to stop Crossbones from stealing biological weapons from a lab in Lagos, which is, uh, I believe, in uh, Africa somewhere. But he wants to blow himself up, trying to take some uh, Avengers out. But unfortunately, Scarlet Witch was trying to help out with her hex powers, you know, and she ends up accidentally uh, throwing him into the building where there are a lot of um, people in there and there ends up to be a lot of casualties so that's when the government steps in and tries to make the Avengers sign the Superhuman Registration Act but in order for that act to go into full effect at a press conference in Vienna unfortunately Bucky Barnes is there to um, blow up the UN building, which happens to contain King T'Chaka, and he is killed, unfortunately. That's where Black Panther, I mean T'Challa, wants to seek revenge. That's when he seeks out Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, chasing him down in the same process, fighting Captain America. Now appears Baron Zemo, who is a supervillain. He steals the book that has the access codes to control Bucky Barnes and Winter Soldier so he can seek out his evil scheme on dismantling the Avengers and destroying the world in process. Now it gets very interesting because this is where the excitement really begins. So if you are with Team Captain America, the superheroes contain Captain America himself Hawkeye, Scarlet Witch, you got the Falcon, Bucky Barnes, and Ant-Man. Now if you're on the Iron Man side, he has War Machine, Spider-Man, which appears later on. Very big surprise. The Vision, Black Widow, and also Black Panther. So the excitement really builds on where they fight each other um, at the airport. Oh wow, and Ant-Man, let me just tell you this, he's amazing. I'm not going to ruin it, <laughs> I don't want to ruin it, but that's the first battle. And then the second battle comes in where, where the Winter Soldier and uh, Captain America fights hand-to-hand -hand combat with Iron Man. And let me tell you, that is a very exciting battle. Um, a lot of great action throughout the movie. You have very good special effects, pretty good acting, especially coming from... Um, from uh, Tony Stark and the plot fits in real well let me tell you 
that's one thing I was very impressed about the movie. It didn't leave any loopholes, kind of like Batman vs Superman did. I bet you these DC creators are watching this movie and thinking, man, we should have made the plot awesome like this. Unfortunately, Batman and Superman wasn't good as it turned out to be. But let me tell you, the movie is astounding. I think overall, I would probably give it a 90% high rated movie. It was it wasn't in line with the Marvel comics because that's you know in the comics universe itself, that's where they um they want the superhuman registration act is there to have the characters reveal the secret identity so the government can control them. But in this, it's more like the government has uh, access to their operations so they could know when to send them out. Let me tell you, a very good movie. Go watch it. And now let me show off some of my comics. All right, here are some of my Civil Wars comics. Here is issue number two that I got from my Half Price Books. Number three, Civil War number three. Number six, I'm missing quite a few issues. Number seven, doubles of number seven. And these are the uh, less valuable ones. Involving various characters and uh, stories. And let me show off. Oh, and make sure you stay for the credits. There is a short credit and also there's a long credit. You gotta stay for both of them. And I'm pretty sure this is what's in store for Spider-Man in his upcoming movie. This is the new Spider-Man armor. That's right. I got doubles of that. And this is the very first appearance of Crossbones. Awesome character. His costume is on point. And here is Baron Zemo in the comics costume itself. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, movie review. Hopefully next time I can do better. <laughs> and go check it out. It's a very great movie. Until next time, take care of yourselves.